Yeah, I'm, I'm totally down for that. I love bad games. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not an unusual thing to hear in this chat. Oh, well, okay. Take care, Cuckoo Show. Till later. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Mike, thank you again for choosing that game. We have another Game Master coming up, by the way, who uh, has a completely different type. You know, you gave Arcade, and I'm always excited about Arcade. It's yeah, yeah. often an absolute joy, and this, I, I think, is going to be a joy as well. Dana will be hopping in the chat in just a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, I will admit, I don't pick games like Dana, but I do no. enjoy his picks. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of feel the same way. Hello, Dana. Hello. There we go. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. How are you doing today? I am doing excellent. I had a, an excellent time yesterday giving out a game, and I'm going to have an excellent time today. Yeah, you gave out Tarzan Goes Ape during the GDQ Express, uh, and that was a pretty big uh, amount of fun, I would say, you know, it was, it, it was an it absolute blast. Even better than I expected, so I was really good. Cool, yeah, so what about this game? What is, is it also Commodore 64? It is, and oddly enough, it kind of has a theme with the last game. Ooh, okay. In that, in that it's not really that bad, but it is really, really mean. Oh, so this is like the mean round. Round two is we're just going to be jerks and give very difficult games. That's good to know. Well, apparently, so <laughs> the game. Uh, go ahead and reveal it. So this game is Cauldron Two. The, the pumpkin game, strikes back. The pumpkin strikes back. Oh, those Dago pumpkins! Oh. I hate so, pumpkins. The original Cauldron was a hard game that I considered giving out. I played both of them extensively as a okay. kid. Okay. Um, Cauldron 2, people liked back in the day, but also they said, this game is way harder than the first one, and it gets bad marks because of that. It and the first one was already marks. hard. Okay. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, I so, made a huge mistake. That's okay, I'll get everything fixed. Oh no, not huge mistakes. Don't listen, don't listen. Everybody just avert your eyes to my terribleness here. <laughs> but we, we can't see it. Oh, okay, good. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. So at this point, I'm just getting everybody ready for the next match because... We have four people going up against each other in Cauldron 2, The Pumpkin Strikes Back. Are there pumpkins in this game? They're, they're not just pumpkins. You are the pumpkin. You are the pumpkin? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> the pumpkin strikes back. Like, in the, in the first game, you're playing as the witch, defeating the pumpkin king. Wait. Oh, I thought you said eating the Pumpkin King for a no. second. I was like, this sounds so well, great. She might have turned him into a pie afterwards. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, you know, he probably deserved it. He was kind of a jerk, actually. So literally, this will have much more pumpkin than Tiger Road had tigers. However, they do both have spiders. Okay, <laughs> are these ones cuter, though? No! Oh, well, that's not fun. They're, uh, they're about as mean, though. Okay. I don't want the spiders, Dana. Why the they're, spiders? They're not going to want the spiders, either. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm still very concerned about what terror you bring us because... oh it, it's fine if i had to describe this game it would be um what would have happened if within a deep forest had been made 20 years earlier in halloween gotcha that's that's a pretty good description it was i just got that one okay and so i i don't know if you're because i have the stream needed so that i can hear you Oh, you're, yeah, you're not you're not playing 
Nope, the not right now. Cauldron 2 title music, which is the only music that's in the game. I mean, we'll hear it in a second as soon as I get everybody captured and locked away. <laughs> I'm not really that scary, Dana. I can't I can't pull off scary. I can't pull off I can't pull off aggressive, okay? If I were to join a gang, like everybody would just be asking me if I need another cookie, and I'd say, yeah, yeah. It's a good gang when you go and get a cookie. Delicious. Can we make a cookie themed gang? Cookie gang. Yeah, I'd, I'd be down for that. You want to join my cookie gang? Mmm, I'd have to figure out which cookie. Okay, not sugar cookie. Those are just cheap and lame. Yeah, that, those are like the lazy, you know, effort. Yeah, okay, we are totally 100% against sugar cookies. And you have to use frosting on them, like, the cookie itself is no good. It's just a frosting cookie. I mean, you can yeah. overdo it on frosting. All you have to do is eat frosting by itself, okay, and that's better than a sugar cookie. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, we have a sugar cookie liker in the chat. Boo! <laughs> wow. That's heresy where I come from. You come from Utah. Oh, no, Are sugar cookies banned in Utah? Actually, no. Everything sugar is pretty much allowed here. Oh, okay. No! Why do I have the Technocop music? Oh, it hurts! <laughs> Dana, I made a mistake when working out my playlist. Oh, why did you do this? Oh, oh, my ears. <laughs> Techno cop. <laughs> Only the hottest of gems. By the way, thank you everybody who followed. Don't worry, I saw you. It's a little bit hard to commentate during matches because we want to focus on those. But come on, join! Join! Also, thank you everybody, all my subscribers. Uh, you're the ones who are keeping the stream alive, just financially. But honestly, everybody who comes to the views and spreads the news, you are loved. Okay? But not too loved, okay? It's just the right amount of love. It's like... You know, hey, I want to give you a high five, mister. That amount of love. Ah, the, I, the, the very, very casual sort. Very casual love, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see subs coming in. Ah, thank you, Yuna, for gifting those subs. We just have bounds of love right now. Yeah, techno, techno cop music, by the way, is gone. Thank goodness. Let me go ahead and... See if we can hear this. Oh, it's spooky! Dana, you didn't tell me this game was gonna be spooky. Uh, did you see the title cover? Ah! I mean, yeah, okay. This is maximum spooky! It's very spooky. Oh, Devil Ray, I didn't notice. Thank you for the sub. Aww. You are the best. Okay. Now I'm going to focus because it is spooky game time. Look at this excellent rhyming manual help kit thing. That's pretty much all they get. I, I I told them a little more than that, but yeah, the intro screen is basically all they really know. They have to collect objects. It looks like three out of four players are ready to roll. I'm just waiting for deep freeze. Makes me think of Kingdom Hearts. Deep Freeze! <laughs> Deep Freeze! It's a good name. It's a good name. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah, why did they put their year in... That was a thing that people did back then. I was gonna say in Times New Roman, but no, in Roman numerals. <laughs> I really don't know. It's just kind of a pain in my opinion. <laughs> but that was just a thing people like to do. Sneak, 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 sneak
music. It's so spooky. I love it. You know what? I actually really love haunted houses, and I love scary media. I get really scared, okay? I scream, but I pretty much enjoy it. Oh, okay. And you like being scared. It's been a while since I've actually streamed a scary game, but it's always been a blast. So, mm. is there anything we need to know about how progress is going to be made? Okay, so, the first thing that I should point out that will make people really confused is there are random starting points. So... Oh no. Dana, you know yeah. what? I think we're going to do the countdown and then we'll have oh. the full explanation. So, all right. everybody, get up all your spooky emotes in chat. I want to see all of them because we are starting. Wish them luck. Be spooked, okay? Even if it's just being scared emotes, that's cool. Ooh, Dana, that's a lot of spiders. It is a lot of spiders. As soon as I see movement by one of the players, I will start our timer. Oh, there are... Thank you, everybody, for being spooked. Uh, okay, Dana. Okay. So, as you can tell, people are not starting in the same spot. Okay. Um, Enchantress started off in, uh, the crown room. So, mm. the crown is a really nice item to get, um, but the skeleton's gonna kill it. Okay, tell, tell us a little bit, what is our goal here? Because I've the never seen this game. game. The goal of the game is to collect the items so that you can get to the witch, collect a lock of her hair, and mix a spell to defeat her and retake the castle. Okay. So you have to collect multiple items in order to you defeat the witch. You have to collect witch. quite a few items. Now, the thing about these items is they're not just normal collectibles like your general uh, C64 game. That was pretty they spooky. They actually have abilities. They they have passive abilities tied to each one of them. Uh, for instance, uh, the shield that you can pick up will make it so you cannot be hurt by the giant skeletons. Oh, nice. nice. Okay. Which so makes getting the crown a lot easier. Now, Enchantress game over and started right next to the chalice. The chalice will prevent you from getting your controller swapped when you hit magic hand. I ruled that this item does not count as a progress point except in cases of tiebreaker. Okay. Because there was a random starting point that starts right next to it. Gotcha, that's fair enough. I didn't want somebody to get in a really unfair advantage just because they started right next to it. Uh, the crown? Yeah, they start in the crown room. Good luck actually getting it. <laughs> yeah, the crown room seems a little tiny bit cruel. So, we are going based off of how many items they collect then? That is correct. Okay, awesome. At this point then, it looks like... Enchantress and Numbers has the chalice, except the chalice doesn't count, because right. it is way too easy to get. Right. And random. I mean, if they you're could good literally game. just game over and restart, and until they got a chalice start room for a free item, and I was, I was like, no, let's not do that. That's fair. That's a fair call. So this game doesn't have stages or anything. This is an actual like pretty much Metroidvania, <laughs> except you're playing as a bouncing pumpkin. Yeah, this is the original Metroidvania, possibly. So, there's a lot of stuff that instant kills you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that idea here. The, uh, there are a lot of things that don't, they just take damage, you take damage off of them. Um, the sparkles will give you health back, and if it's your first time getting a sparkle, it gives you the power to shoot. Ooh, nice. Now, shooting actually takes health away. It takes a it takes a percentage point every time oh, you fire. Oh no! Why, Dana? Why? Why does this because it's your magic power? Well, I don't care. Okay, so 
Enchantress just opened a door. You can only do that if you have the axe, which she is luckily enough having, so... <laughs> For some reason, axes open doors. I mean, that kind of makes sense, but... A little bit, a, I, I suppose. I mean, we could go full shining in here. Nah, I think we're good. Okay. <laughs> red, red agreed. Oh, good. That's what I want to hear. So, this, this game has a very, very big map. I'm gonna go grab the map real quick and link it in chat. So Show people can be... Just see just how big this game actually is. Okay, I see a, I see a creepy spider. spider. Uh, Joey, yeah, it looks like everybody is still working on getting items, but Enchantress of Numbers does have the axe, which I think would be a little bit of a lead there, except Shuriken has gotten the spark at one point. Wait, the castle turns upside down? No, that was just a reference to Symphony of the Night. Oh, no, no, I just want to believe. <laughs> It is really big, though. Look at that map. Okay, let me see. Let me see the map. Where is the map? I linked it in chat. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm sorry, Dana. I was distracted. It's my life. Holy guacamole! How it's big! It's really big! That's pretty impressive. I know! Uh... And you only, you only have six lives to get through it. I'm not sure why they decided six lives, but... Yeah. For the longevity of video games, we have lots of lives here. The, the axe should be progress, yes. correct. The axe is absolutely a progress item. So, Enchantress is in the lead. And yes, the the witch cackle. I love that line, the, that sound effect. I use that in my uh, my own streams. Wait, really? It's one of my sound effects. Aww. <laughs> um, where was I going? Oh, Almatia was talking about the controls. Like I said earlier about this being kind of like within a deep forest. Uh, bouncing, bouncing is difficult. You cannot change direction in the air. Okay. Your, your direction is determined at the time you hit the ground by, by whether you're holding a direction and whether you're holding the button. But yeah, I can see holding the button makes your jump higher. Correct. So Enchantress actually picked up the crown, cost her a life, but she got it. And that will help her out by protecting her from the witch's magic. If she gets something. Very nice. Did you happen to give them any information on what the items do, by the way? No! I told them that they did things. I didn't tell them what they actually did. Joey did get the shield, by the way. Oh, yes. I see a shield. Oh, my gosh. So, I here's, here's just my thought. At this point, a lot of the times older video games actually had... Uh, information that was essentially required in manuals and such in order to figure out how to get through places and Commodore 64 is not an exception there so essentially what we're recreating here is somebody who just sat down found this game on a Commodore 64 turned it on and tried to figure out what you're supposed to do in it to be fair the, the manual didn't help either. Oh, it didn't? This, for this game, the manual was literally an insert into the little tape. Like, you know the little tape inserts? Yeah. Uh, let me scroll up, because I, I did link it to them. Just because it <laughs> would help them not at all. You're like, here's the manual, good luck. <laughs> I love it, Dave. I have linked to that in chat as well. Okay. Let me take a look at the manual. So, the actual map... Wait, what? That's it! 
Where once the tiny cottage stood, a mighty place dwarfs the wood. And there within the highest tower, the witch queen wields her mighty power. A rule of evil crossed the land with ghosts and gargoyles close at hand. Her enemies destroyed this night, yet one remains to set things right. A pumpkin warrior, brave and good, the last survivor from the wood. So go now swiftly, climb the stair, and cut a lock of witch's hair. Seek out, then, the cauldron black, and brew a spell to change things back. Then the hag will know defeat, and thy revenge will be complete. Okay. Well, yeah, that doesn't help. Yeah, I, actually, it, it does a little bit. Oh. There, there are, like, two or three lines in there that tell you something that you don't already know. The title screen shows you all the six magical artifacts. The manual that I linked them tells them that they need to get the hair of the witch and find a cauldron within the castle. Okay. Do you have to get the witch or the cauldron first? You have to get the hair so you can throw it in the cauldron. Make Does a magic that... spell. Okay. Does she instantly die when you throw her hair in a cauldron? Yeah, basically. Something like that. Sounds Either bad. dies or is depowered. I don't remember which. <laughs> okay. It, it's been a while since I actually beat the game because this game is really hard. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell. I mean, um, Deep Freeze has gotten an item at this point, by the way. And I know Joey has gotten that shield before. Shuruken appears to be struggling a bit with finding a... Oh, and there's the shield! Everybody... And then, gonna fall off the castle. It looks like Enchantress of Numbers has two items at this point. Oh no! Pumpkin! <laughs> well. Falling off the castle amuses me. <laughs> it does not actually cost you a life. Wait, really? Yeah, falling off the castle does not kill you. Uh, the spider at the bottom of the castle, on the other hand, will definitely kill you. Hey, by the way, Shuruken got the scissors down there. And it looks like Deep Freeze has both the shield and the scissors as so well. There's, there's a really nasty trick here. And I don't know if he's going to figure it out. He's going the wrong way. Do you have to go right? You have to go right. But that looks like water. It is water! You have to go to the water? You I have mean, to jump over the water. Pumpkins There's float. in the next room. Oh, that's nice. And the spider and the orange bat are both instant kills. Why? Why? Yep. Mm, well, that's nice. Now, getting the shield and the scissors does help quite a bit in scoring. Okay, Shuruken has gotten the goblet, which doesn't count, but, you know, might as well grab it. it, it it'll help. Yeah. So, so as I, I posted this in the channel of people who know, know Commodore games, and the response was, That game, when British game magazines complain about a game being too hard, you know it's too hard. Oh no. Did they complain about this being too hard? A lot. Like, they said the game was good, except it was way too hard. Much harder than the original game. Okay. Me, <laughs> such an evil little witch. So, okay. Uh, Enchantress fell off the castle and got the scissors and is going the right way. As you can see, there's a platform to land on. Oh my it's gosh! Okay. And a shark in the water, but you know, whatever. By the way, uh, how are we deciding tiebreakers if they get the same number of items? We would go by who got that many first. Okay. And it's in a single playthrough. In a single playthrough, that's correct. Perfect. Some of these sound effects are reminding me of old Atari games, which, I mean, this is Commodore 64, so shouldn't be a surprise at all there. Right. I like the boing sound. I, I, I can't help it. It's, it's very... If I heard this anywhere else, I'd know immediately what it was. <laughs> the witch sound effect is too good, though. <laughs> the witch's laugh. I, 
I cannot get enough of that one. All we get is boing, 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 and then me. <laughs> but yeah, specifically, this the sound effects makes me think of an art or an Atari game called Firebug, uh, which was actually one of the games that was released in a magazine, and you were the one who put it into your computer or into oh. the Atari. Which I didn't oh. do, by the way, uh, but somebody did, and I loved Firebug. It was a blast. So, Shuriken uh, just ran into one of the magic hands, but since he had the goblet, it didn't actually reverse his controls for, like, a minute. It, it takes a while to get cured. It, it's kind of a pain. Why is the pumpkin's max health 99%? You know, once you're cut from the vine, you start dying. It's a very gradual process, usually accompanied by spiders and, uh, air mines. I don't know. And deadly scissors and hammers, they squish your gourd. So, I can see that. Yeah, what's in Also, the fact oh, that 0% zero, zero counts as a percent, so it's it's still technically 100%. Wait, 0% counts? You can yeah. still live? Yeah, well, when you start, you start at 0. Oh, okay. Okay, um... Got the chalice, but unfortunately, yeah. Chalice does always like to dump you off the castle. So, jog my memory. What does chalice do as an item? It, it's the one that prevents you from getting confused. Your pumpkin can get confused. Right, and it swaps your controls. Why can your pumpkin get confused? <sighs> Reasons. We there. We've got. Scissors. Yeah, it looks like the bat on the left when you're down here uh, pretty much copies your movement, if I'm not right, mistaken. Right, the purple one isn't a problem, but the orange one is. Yeah, gotcha. This is for I Commodore 64, everybody, and this is a spooky game. I did tell them the chalice would count in case of tiebreakers, but only in case of tiebreakers. So... Gotcha. They need to be really uh, on the ball with this. Come on, pumpkin. <laughs> I love when the pumpkin gets stuck and, and you just hear them winging rapidly. What's the speedrun time of this? Funnily enough, I did actually want to try to speedrun this at one point. Really? Uh, I... I Never got around to routing, because I I got uh, I got distracted by the fact that there are places where you can squeeze through walls, and uh, it was a very interesting thing that I started trying to abuse. Yeah, and yeah, then I, I got distracted. And... This game's too hard. Okay, <laughs> uh, it's it seems a little bit rough. By the way, I want to let you know this company did make some other games right around 84 to 87 of obviously they made the original cauldron uh, right. but they also made a game called explorer that's not vague at all i and it, they explore things i guess it looks like an adventure game of sorts they made a game called dandy and in that one Apparently, you go through 15 dungeons, and it also... I don't know, it kind of looks like a Zelda-esque game. And then it gives you a code, and... What does the code do? Put them all together at the end of the game. That's all. You put the codes together. That's dumb. So, Hooray! Yeah, I wouldn't say this was exactly the most successful company in the world. So, that thing I literally just mentioned... Shuriken accidentally jumped into the ceiling at the almost exact right point and squeezed through it. I'm not sure how that works, but it's very confusing. Yay, a speed <laughs> strats being developed and found. And then falls off the castle. 
Ah, KM is saying that that game specifically is more like Gauntlet. That's cool. Dandy. I'm gonna have to play that. I love Gauntlet. I mean, Gauntlet's kind of fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, depending on which one you play, but like original Gauntlet? Yeah. Run! Run! The spider's gonna get you! Spider got you. As it turns out, the person who did most of the work on this game actually was the writer for Populous The Beginning. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and also got a thanks in International 3D Tennis. That sounds like a good game. We do have the one of the people here who did the code for this game, or at least some of the code. Uh, he designed Last Ninja 3. And programmed that as well. Also program or wrote a game called Vendetta. Vendetta sounds familiar. Um, of course, Last Ninja is a iconic series. Oh. oh yeah. It's just cool that people who worked on games that were probably not the best in the world uh, at the same time worked on some fantastic games. Oh yeah. I, I, so Enchantress kind of squeezed through the chandelier, but unfortunately, the, it, it's on, it, it's a lit ch chandelier, so she got roasted. Roasted pumpkin. Would you like I some roast pumpkin? No, I, I'm not exactly the fan of pumpkin. You know, I, I, I know, right? It's like, I'll eat pumpkin pie, but there's so much better pies in the world. Cherry pie is so much better. Like, I disagree entirely? Well, you're objectively wrong, so... <laughs> I mean... I'm sorry I'm that you here. have many flaws, Dana, but you do. Oh, wow. I can't believe you like cherry pie over pumpkin pie. Like, if you would say day. apple, I might have, like, let you have your difference of opinion. Like, apple's, apple's pretty good. I used to love apple pie more, but it's just got a lot more sugar than... Uh, then cherry. Cherry's got a nice tart to it. It's it's life. Cherry. Well, for that, I go for, like, one, uh, like a lemon. Like, I like lemon icebox pie. Those I good. I can make a lemon meringue pie. Yeah! See, those it's are great. been a while, but I'm good at following recipes and actually getting it right. Oh, key lime is also an excellent pie, yes. Key lime is good, but still, if I had to choose a pie, cherry is just the best. I have a problem with sweet potato pie, and it's not actually because it's sweet potato pie, it's because it looks so much like a pumpkin pie, and I take a bite of it expecting a pumpkin pie, and getting sweet potato pie instead. Oh, that would be kind of sad. And, and it's, like, completely off-putting. You know, I do like cheesecake, but it just gets way, way too sweet. You know, I can, I can eat maybe half a piece of cheesecake and I'm done. Uh, then you're not your 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 cheesecakes are made not well. And to you have a good point. Pecan pie is pretty delicious. Honestly, there are very few pies that I just won't eat. I can't I mean, think of any. Pie is exceptionally good. And no, we have uh what thirty eight minutes left, I believe. Unikit and cheesecake shouldn't be sweet. Well, you've never had cheesecake from Utah because yes, sugar's yeah, all the, the rage. Your cheesecake, yes, cheesecake has a bit of sweetness to it, but it should not be overpoweringly sweet. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're just watching a pumpkin bounce around, and we're talking about food. It's this this is how we spend our Thursdays here on Kusu Grande. <laughs> Oh, Joey is stuck on the shield. Oh, Joey! Okay, he got free. There, there are some places in this where you can get really, really stuck. Is that shield uh, collectible? No, that's just a background object. Why is there an evil shield? Ah, because. Yeah, today is Pi Day, which makes our conversation that much more important. Oh! I hadn't even realized! Well... well it I'm glad Dana. we're talking about hiding. <laughs> you know what? The witch really does kind of look like the Joker, now that Lizstar mentions it. I mean, a little bit. A little bit. Just with the longer chin. About the same size smile, though. 
there there is a, a, a new a new Batman show coming out, and, and the Joker in that one has an extremely big chin. Wait, so. Shuriken just lowered that. Yes. Is that, that good? I mean, it's not bad. It helps you get over to the other side, but what they do not know is down under that thing is where the cauldron is, in the very depths of the castle. Oh, no. But there are two spots you can go down. Okay. Well, that's so, fine. I mean, it, it's, not a, it's not a big deal. So much bouncing. There is bouncing everywhere. So I like it that there's all this effort to push, push a switch for something that you really don't need to push. Yeah. What a game. It's, it, it's a good game. It's just really, really mean. I mean... Yeah, I, I think that I would have had fun with this game as a kid. I probably would have thought you know i found a lot of games when i was a kid spooky but honestly the sound effects are mostly fine the witch isn't that scary i probably would have been scared by the credit music it, it it's spooky music it's very spooky honestly i think the scariest thing on the atari was the lucas arts music like the intro screen for Lucas Arts, it scared me every single time because it's just. I don't know. Has anyone managed more than two items at once at this point? I don't believe so, but I could be mistaken. Yeah, the uh, nobody's seen the spell book, and I'll tell you why they have not seen the spell book. It's because everybody's going down. Oh, Joey, no! Wait, you have to go up for a spell book? The spell book is in the very, very top of the castle. Well, I'm not too surprised. He actually has to go past the witch to find the book of spells. Which, which makes sense. Enchantress! Oh my gosh! Okay, there we go. Enchantress is finally back in the castle. Oh, I'm so stressed. I just watched this game... And, uh, Can you imagine trying to control this game? Yeah, yeah, I can. I it, played within a dark forest. Yeah, it's like that, but a lot harder. A lot harder. Yeah, I can see that. You sort of have committed jumps when you jump. Yeah, you are committed, absolutely. And you have very little variation in your bounces. Yeah, I mean, it's almost a mathematical game with where you need to line yourself up and where right. you need to go. Uh, which... And there are there are ways to slightly alter your where you're landing, like Enchantress is doing, doing slight bounces into into an obstacle to land in a slightly yep. better position. Yep, and that's usually a good plan. Enchantress is just having fun. I think my eyes are almost hurting from all that bouncing. <laughs> oh no, Enchantress! Well, maybe Enchantress means to go left. Yeah. Oh, and no. that's dead. And gargoyled. Well. And then dumped off the cat. Yeah, that that's kind of what ah, happens. But Enchantress has... Axe and scissors, and also the goblet with that. I don't know if we've had two items plus the goblet. Goblet doesn't count except for tiebreakers, and Enchantress does have those. Apparently, Cadis is saying that, yes, we have seen, essentially, that number of items together. Right. This is why we have official refs instead of people who talk a bunch and then get confused because we're talking about pie. Uh, pie is good, though. I mean, pumpkin pie is exceptionally good. It's okay, but <laughs> there are better pies, Dana. Now, hold on. Have you ever had pumpkin cheesecake? Yeah, and that's okay, too. But just, just give me my cherry pie. That's all I want in my life. <clears throat> like, 
here's the deal, okay? I'm about to get executed because I live in Utah and that happens here. And uh, I'm sitting there and they're like, okay, last meal. And I'm like, give me a cherry, just a cherry pie, okay? I might ask for more food, you know? I'm gonna die. I but mean, at least I'm gonna get cherry pie. Else. Like, the cherry pie can be the last thing. Ooh, like, what, what's a meal that takes a really long time to make? <laughs> okay, uh, but I'll also ask for cherry pie. <laughs> oh, Sharuk and the spider! I was gonna say century egg, but nobody should ever eat one of that only takes a couple weeks, honestly. Hmm. We could ask for, like, fresh-made kimchi. That takes a while. But can you bake a, a cherry pie very long, John? Slow-roasted cherry pie. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, and now Chad is distracted well, by sentry eggs. They didn't say I had to eat my last meal. What are they going to do? Sit there and be like, we're delaying your execution till you finish your mashed potatoes, bro, Sencha. <laughs> okay, so Deep Freeze just fell down the pit. And it's a very long drop into lava. <laughs> there is a way to bounce into the pit and not die to the lava. And you are required to figure that out eventually. Game is... Game is not... No. Yeah. Really. Yeah, this game seems like it's probably rude in ways. Shuriken... This game is not intended to be beaten quickly at all. Oh no, they had to it, it, prolong it the game. It is a line. trial and error and mapping game. At the same time, I give the developers huge kudos for how big this map is. Oh yeah, I mean, they wanted. Oh, he fell down again. Joey, ah! Joey, Joey, Joey. Oh, Joey. Oh no. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's life as a pumpkin. What did Eon do? Uh, I don't know. Apparently oh, Eon clipped through a roof. Yeah, that happens. Sometimes, sometimes the ceilings are not really considered solid objects, depending on how you hit them. Eon is trying to kill the spider. Can you kill spiders? No. You can kill the little ones, but the big ones are instant kill and indestructible. Wow. Okay, I really dislike these spiders. I, I told you that we would not like the spiders. Yeah, like, I, I usually don't love spiders, but these spiders are even worse, because you can't kill them. But, normally, spiders will kill other things for you. I love that the gargoyles kill you as well. Yeah, if you land on the gargoyle, they're like, nah. He also looks so grumpy. Oh, I think Eon is just taking a game over real quick. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. That works, you know. Just jump up on the gargoyle's back. And ended up starting in the chalice room again. Okay. There are four actual locations that you can start. Okay, what um, are the four different rooms? Let me pull that one up, because I did have that somewhere. Whee! Pumpkin oh, gets Marty dumped. Gets so, there is the chalice room. Okay. There is the throne room. There is a spot that in the witch's tower right under her bedroom. And then there's one kind of in the middle of the... I love the walk cycle for the skeletons. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Well, I'm really enjoying the match so far. This is being a blast. And it looks like the next game has actually been decided. Oh, that is excellent. I hope it is a very hard game that is not otherwise that terrible. Uh, well, I'm not telling. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I, I guess this is just going to... Sorry, Dana. Ah, according to... Uh, uh, Who's doing the... Uh, 
Dana? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Dana? What? <laughs> I heard everything! Oh my gosh. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Breathe. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. I'm okay, fine. deep breaths. Breathe in, breathe I'm just out. Gonna take a drink here. Breathe sideways. Breathe sideways? I don't know. I uh, yes. So, for those who are confused by the game, you are a pumpkin. The number of pumpkins at the top is the number of lives you have remaining. As you see, Shuruken has no leftover pumpkins. It's not pumpkin pie today, it's pumpkin die. Ha! Ha! I'm still trying to figure out how you breathe sideways. I don't know. <coughs> Your chance to figure that one out. I mean, I feel like maybe like a tracheotomy or something. Oh, please no. Yeah, see, that sounds horrible. <laughs> the game over music is pretty darn strong. So, from my understanding, we've got 25 minutes left. It appears that Shuruken has made the most progress at this point, uh, getting two items plus the chalice. Enchantress of Numbers has also done that, however, has done it after Shuruken. Aha! I, I was hoping that we would see somebody attempt to go up and see the witch, because <laughs> the witch is actually exceptionally new. Um, I want to see witch. the witch. She's asleep in her bedroom. In her bed. Well, that's but she cool. has guardian magic that kind of floats around her, and if it sees you, it'll just zap to you and kill you. Guardian magic. Yep. Okay, I like it. If you have the crown, it won't hurt you. Ooh, oh, the spider! What a jerk! So oh people gosh. are asking a little bit about the controls. So I'll I'll refresh. Go ahead. Uh, so, when the pumpkin hits the ground is when it determines how you're going to bounce. It checks for whether you're holding left or right, and it will bounce you that direction. And if you're holding down the button, it will bounce you higher. Literally nothing that you do except when you land affects what's happening. Correct. Anything in the air, it does not care. Uh, shooting in midair, eh, it's more, I mean, you can shoot. I don't think it gives you any actual momentum, though. How many is it? Um, <laughs> it's more of a, uh, they're holding the button down so it's doing things when they land. Uh. Yeah, this really is a puzzle platformer. You just have to figure out how are you going to get to certain areas on the platforms. It took me a long time to, get to like, parts of the castle. It was funny because uh, I was having... I was having Faizu test this for me. And he was like, something looks wrong on the screen, and he linked this the screen to me, the screenshot. I was like, hold on, let me get to the bottom of the castle and check it out. I am amused by how you knew exactly where that was. Game a lot. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, Shuruken has two items again. Let's see. Like, seriously, I just want somebody to get three items. That would be besides the chalice. I'm really happy about that. But this game is difficult. It's really hard. And it's exactly because of the difficulty and the control scheme that I gave this out. And also because I wanted to see people play this because I, I do enjoy this game. Looks like Enchantress of Numbers unfortunately got one more game over. And everybody is struggling to make progress, which I'm not too surprised when it comes to this game. I mean, even the the people who played it 
over in the UK back in the day thought that it was too difficult, and simply put, all games were difficult back on the Commodore 64. It's just, if it's not difficult, you beat it in five minutes. <laughs> I, I, I don't think she wants to try once more. She's saying no. <laughs> Why not press fire and try once more? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I do see someone who rated, I think it was a 9.4 out of 10 when they gave it a score. They said, like its predecessor, it's a very difficult game which proves to be immensely tricky to solve. This difficulty doesn't detract from the game, though, and the whole experience is very enjoyable, though frustrating. Yeah. I would agree. I would personally highly agree with that. The graphics are brilliant, with lots of nasty characters trolling about the place, and the sound effects are also great. Which, for when this came out, I would say that's probably true. 1986 for the Commodore 64? Yeah. I mean, sure, NES was squashing at this point, but... Okay, hold on. Hold on. For... 86. Wasn't it 86? I'm showing 1986. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm waiting. Oh my gosh. Jesus the Frog, you're you're kind of correct that this game obviously is squatching. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers came out before this. Go do your research. But this was made by two people. Okay, so NES came out in the U.S. in the end of 1985, so we had just barely gotten it. So, yes. This, then, was something that probably a lot more people, maybe a lot more people had than NES. Uh, in certain time. areas, yeah. And also, if you think about it, yeah, I mean... Mario had a bunch of a bunch of a bunch of long levels and such, but did it have one super huge castle? It didn't. No. Had a bunch of really small dumb castles. Oh, guess what? It's a castle. Better run to the right. It's got one floor. Hope you like it. Seriously, if I were a king and I ordered somebody to build me a castle, I would be I would be complaining to them, okay? I'd say you are the worst, uh, and I am a king, and I'm going to make you my jester now. Stupid, <laughs> stupid architect. Nothing more like a fartitect. Hmm. Mm. Oh, Enchantress. That was a quick death. Oh, the skeleton's coming. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the skelly. But when you die, you get popped on the other side. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That was another thing that I was trying to figure out when I was routing sort Well, sort of routing it. There are a lot of places where your spawn point in each... <laughs> Deep freeze. <laughs> uh, your spawn point in each room is set. Regardless of where you die in the room, you will always start in the same spot when oh, you yeah. spawn. Oh, yeah. I was able to abuse that in a couple places by literally, like, jumping into a room and dying before I landed, and it would spawn me, like, at the other side of the room. Yeah, magic is both your health as well as your ammo in this game. That is correct. Apparently, Deep Freeze did make it to the bottom of the castle. The skeleton! Seriously, what a jerk on Deep Freeze's screen. He just stands there until you die. Why are you such a fragile skeleton anyway? Er, sorry, pumpkin. Uh, have, have, have you ever, like, 
Pumpkin smash pretty easily. Yeah, but they're bouncing all over the place like gummy bears. I mean, yeah, but nobody's actively trying. Like, the pumpkin is controlling the bounce. But if somebody else wants to smack him, then he's done for. Oh, yeah, once you're out of control when it comes to pumpkins. Oh, my gosh, watch out, Shuriken! Okay, all of the demons came and tried to eat him. That's okay. That's okay. Somebody in chat said they're having bad childhood flashbacks now. And that means I have achieved my goal. I have traumatized someone with this video game. Because, yeah, I played this a lot in my childhood, too. Yeah. I like that Kate is giving them encouragement. They are all in this. Anybody could still take the victory. Because this game is rough. <clears throat> oh my gosh. The bounce loop. Yeah, the... There's, there's some places that you're just going to be bouncing in and out of screens, flashing back and forth, and it's a little bit disorienting. A little Not bit. Not going to lie. It's worse when you're actually playing. Well, yeah, I believe that. No, Shuriken gets a game over. Nobody's made progress in quite a while. However... I think there's still a possibility that somebody could. There's soon. very definitely the possibility. I would not rule it out at any time. We. Wow. I love the falling off the castle. It just makes me laugh. It's pretty good. Yeah, you're. What you're trying to do is get different items here, and essentially you do want to kill the witch. You want to cut her hair and take the hair to the cauldron in the basement. Which, I assume... The only you, item... You need the crown. You, you, the only item I feel you don't actually need is the goblet. Now, I'm not sure if you need the goblet anyway, because I've never actually tested that. But the goblet only function is to uh, keep you from getting confused, and that's not required. So, what does confused do? Where do you get? It confused? just swaps your left and right controls. Okay, and where does that happen? Uh, anytime you touch one of the little grabby hands. Oh, the grabby hands confuse you? Yes. Ah, I'm learning about pumpkin stuff. Uh, it's happened to them a few times. You'll see the pumpkin flash. <laughs> Really bright colors. Gotcha. I thought it was just awesome pumpkin party time. I mean, it is awesome pumpkin party time. Awesome pumpkin party time. Deep Freeze just taking a game over so that he can get a fresh start. I uh, Kate brings up the axe. I'm also not sure whether the axe is required, because there are probably ways around each door, but it makes it a lot simpler. Um, now, the shield is 100% required, as is the crown and the scissors. Yeah, by the way, for and those who are confused why you're a pumpkin trying to kill a witch, it's because the witch in the previous game killed a pumpkin. Yeah! Can you imagine you are avenging your pumpkin ancestors? I'll even, hold on, I'll even, I'll even link picture of the Pumpkin King. Yeah, I want to see this Pumpkin King. Let me see if I can find one. Oh no, Shuriken just barely touched the water. <laughs> what a game. Like, in this game, you're just going to take damage sometimes. It doesn't really seem like there's much of a workaround some of those. Do, do, do. Uh. Awesome pumpkin party time. 
Everybody gonna be a pumpkin tonight. You know, when you're a pumpkin, it's alright to be bouncing, bouncing all of the time. Just trying to serenade you, Dana. Makes sense to me. I mean, oh, no, sure. <laughs> we're, we're kind of lacking in music, so I can understand your desire to fill us with musical joy. Tr trying to fill your void. Okay, Deep Freeze has the good strat for getting through that screen without dying, and then he jumped on a shark and the shark died. Wow, good pumpkin. Oh! That was mightily unfortunate. He took a death to the troll. The troll is a little bit rough. <laughs> KM, shut up! You double banned! Double banned! That's worse than being normally banned. <laughs> double banned? Yeah. Oh, no! I love that all of the players have found fast ways to die in pretty much each room here. Enchantress of Numbers has also found a fast way to get stuck as a pumpkin. Skelly! Oh. You want a watermelon protagonist? Well, jeez, we give them a pumpkin and now they ask for watermelon, Dana. Our children. Seriously. I know. Ungrateful. Yeah. You know what? Next they're gonna start asking for squash. And not pumpkin squash, even though pumpkins are squash. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they're also a berry. Did you know that, Dana? Pumpkins are a berry? Yes, they are. Along with watermelons, they are both berries. Also, peppers are berries. I feel like... This is... Bananas are berries, too! This is dubious to me. I'm telling the truth, okay? I know all about biology. Every edible thing is a berry. They're cowberries. They're spider berries. You don't eat those. They're poisonous. I... I would not eat a spider berry. Don't eat spider berries. They're kind of juicy, also, though. Here is what the Pumpkin King looks like in the original. Also, I yeah, they're dingleberries. What about those, huh? No. You're a dingleberry. Oh, there's the Pumpkin King. Ah, uh, cute. About and also, there's Barry White. He's he was a berry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on. <laughs> I think I think we are buried. We need to bury this conversation. Okay, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Has anyone gotten three items? Some of them have gotten two items and the goblet, which we're not counting as an item except in tiebreakers. Other than that... I think Deep Freeze and Joey Gatorman have both gotten two items, but not any additional items with that. I may be mistaken, though. I am not 100% certain myself. Simply put, oh, apparently Joey has also been at two plus a chalice, putting him in third. What a game. 
What a game. By the way, I do want you all to know uh, Enchantress of Numbers previously played through Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Manhattan missions for the first match. Deep Freeze went through Mission Impossible Operation Surma Shuriken through Msi Bamba Shell Bamba, which, if I'm not mistaken, was a yogurt game. No, no, that was the that was the peanut snack game. Oh, the peanut snack, okay. Yes, where you were the baby feeding the animals. Whatever, they were also advertised as health food. So, <laughs> and, yeah, you fed animals peanut snacks. And then Joey Gatorman played We're Back, A Dinosaur's Tale. <laughs> so we definitely had a lot of fun back in the day with all three of these players. Four. Four. Dana, help. Numbers. Yeah, I... Well, we have an Enchantress of Numbers. By the way, all, all of the players did, as a matter of fact, take second place from what I'm seeing. Uh, so this match, I don't know if it'll be a deal breaker if they come in fourth, but anything third and higher, they for sure still have a chance of making right. it into the bracket. <laughs> Despite the witch just laughing at them. I love the witch laugh. She's so good. Now, every place is still subject to change in the last five minutes. They just it's need to true. get items. But Pumpkin is not easy to control. Oh my gosh, now I'm thinking of Pumpkin in uh, Batman Pie Man. Have you seen uh. that? No, but just hearing the name of it makes my head. It's pretty good. Pita Man. Pita Man. Yeah, it goes. I'm Batman. I'm Pita Man. I come over the house. We're best friends. It's like that. I see. Yeah. And anyways, they have a pumpkin. That makes sense. <laughs> well, also, uh, check out what the Enchantress is doing on her screen. Enchantress of Numbers, where... Oh, Enchantress, why are you just breaking the game? You can get out of that situation. Oh, no, Shuruken! The torch! You can, because uh, you, your controller adjusts it just fractionally, and it will, like, bounce you out of being stuck if you actually force it. But, uh, with five minutes left, I I I'm not sure she's bothering. Maybe. I I'm pretty sure she's not happy with this game. I'm not sure anybody's happy with this game. Like, here's the deal. This game was actually pretty good when it came out. And for the yes. Commodore 64, it's pretty fantastic in ways. Oh, no, this game has... No! Oh, the torch killed Shuruken! <laughs> Not even the flame! Just the torch! Yep. Oh my gosh. I don't like it. No, this game is very neat. It's very interesting and ch challenging. Shall I say? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Interesting and challenging. But it, you have to invest a lot of effort into this game if you try to beat it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And again, a lot, I, I still think it's more of a math puzzle than it is a platformer, just because you have to measure out where you need to go in order to make certain jumps. I mean, and Wraith is saying this game was never good, and it's not quite true. A lot of people liked this game when it came out, because it did a lot of new things that were really interesting. Oh, yeah. But... Yeah. Everybody said, yeah, this game is really cool. It's also way too hard. And then that was kind of the end of it. Yeah, I... And to be fair, you know, the game oh, design... Somebody, uh, there you go, Joey is in the witch's room. Joey! Oh, she's... And there's a little guardian magic spark. Uh-oh. Okay, got Joey got away from the spark. And... Oh, well... At least the witch is going to sleep comfortably tonight. So, 
if Joey goes up from here, and looks like looks like he's trying. Okay. He will be able to. No, oh, no! Joey. <laughs> well, never mind. I was gonna say he could get the uh, hold of the book of spells, but that's not happening anymore. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I think Garby would really like. It. Oh yeah. Well, I like Within a Dark Forest, but you can actually control that game. It's a lot more controllable. Yeah. It's still... I'm not sure it's a good game choice to have your life also be your projectile, your ammunition. It's pretty bad. Fine. Just so people know, there is one game after this, which we are getting to the end of this match. We have less than a minute left. Oh my gosh. Honestly, how do you think they've performed today so far? Considering the difficulty, I, I'm i fairly good with how... I, I wish somebody who could have gotten the three items proper, but with with how hard this game is, I'm not, like, upset at their, at their progress. They have done a good job with what they were given. Okay. That is fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. It's definitely not the best game in the world. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I like this game. I like this game a lot. Oh yeah. But it, it is, in fact, stupidly hard. And we just got a game over on Shuruk inside, which means that we are done. The match is over. Time. Done. 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 As a matter of fact, super done. Just like the, it was a super pumpkin, we're super done. I don't know why the pumpkin's so super, I mean, it's a good pumpkin. Just so everybody knows, ooh, Deep Freeze is not very happy. His snowman is definitely expressing some emotions right there. Enchantress of Numbers takes the victory. Sharuk in second, Joey appears to take third, and Deep Freeze Fourth, if there is any change, of course, the referee can notify us and uh, let us know. Thank you, Katus, for all of the help. I tried to stop the timer. Kate is bugging you about the order. Oh, he is bugging me. Ah. Let me take a look. Sharukin is in first. Nice. Okay. Thank you for the... For the clarification there, Shuruken first, Enchantress of Numbers second, Joey Gaterman, and Deep Freeze in fourth. Uh, there may be some other thing. It looks like Cadis has sent me a message for clarification. So we'll go ahead and get it figured out. With that said, you know, this game, I think that it has a lot of flaws, okay? It definitely has a lot of flaws and a lot of problems, but yes. it is enjoyable overall. No, there's, a there, there's problems with this game, but what they were aiming for, I think they got. I, I they would agree wanted to be a hard game with, with like unique things to it. So that's what they got. By the way, we have Shuruken hopping in right now. Hello there. Hello. Hey, Hi. how did things go for you? Thoughts on the game? <sighs> Ceilings are just an opinion. Correct. <laughs> yeah, it it's kind of true there. Yeah, it just, it, it happened to me a few times where I'd try to make a jump and I'd just go right through the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's it's not the best game in the world. Yeah. Uh, it, but... It's not as, not as bad as I was expecting, but... No, I, in fact, went into this knowing that people would say, you know, this game was actually pretty good. Yeah. It's just really, really mean. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd agree with the cruelness there, but honestly, you 
managed to get through it. You came out victorious. You did a pretty good job there. Yeah, I almost figured out where everything was. Just almost, so close. Almost. Just yeah. getting to it was an issue. The problem of getting to it, and then, like, because it seemed like people would always collect the same items depending on where they started. Yeah. I, the problem I noticed with most of the, of the hour is people were going generally downward. Nobody ever tried going up. Except no. Joey Gatorman, who, he saw the witch. Oh, she's yeah. sleeping in her bed, you know, she's very tired. She has a, she's had a long day of murdering pumpkins. And that's why you're getting revenge. Mm -hmm. Whether you knew it or not. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, congratulations. Yeah, anything you want to say before we move on? Uh, not particularly. Uh, it's a decent game. Sweet. I enjoyed the game, yeah. I do think it hasn't aged well, but it still has yeah. a little bit of that nostalgia from the Commodore 64 era that I really dig. Mm. Well, but, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, and thank you, Dana, for choosing the game. And we'll go ahead and move and show who the next Game Master is. So take care, both of you. Yep, you too. Right. Yeah. And congrats again.